what are we doing here? In today's video we will explain it all. And it isn't just a pregnancy alone. So while we have some field trips in the lush green mountains and a little ghost town, we will disclose the real reasons why we are staying here a bit longer. So join us in some land life adventures and hopefully very soon some more sailing adventures when I'm feeling better. better today so we're gonna go on a little field trip and we're gonna share the real reason why we are staying here in Montenegro <laughs> and if you are guessing where Benjamin is Benjamin <laughs> went to school Going to Gorna Lasva, and Gorna Lasva is a small <laughs> ghost town. Yes, ghost town here, just ten minutes away from uh, from the marina. beautiful amazing drone shots but the battery almost died so we needed to land it quickly and then there came these guts of wind between the mountains and now we lost her she crashed but we can it's, hear it's, it's her free. it's there listen oh i see her there there oh I think I'm scared of our snakes. <laughs> so, what's the plan? <laughs> well, it's stuck too high. I can't climb up there, but I can start shaking the tree and then it will drop down. Only I can't decide exactly, point out where she's gonna drop. So, or she's gonna drop somewhere here. Yeah. Or she's gonna drop choo -choo 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 here. Okay. Now, let's see. Shall I try a little bit? Yeah, but should I come up? Um, I think it's possible that she's gonna drop here. Okay. So then you should stay down and you can catch her with a scarf. Yeah. And here there are enough bushes. Okay. E <laughs> <laughs> Gentle landing, okay. We've got it! <laughs> you have to get down. Yes. 
up is easier than down. Always is. They, they don't smell. They don't smell that good, but they look beautiful. <laughs> <sighs> so another adventure. Yes. Well, I know just laying in bed for almost three months isn't that good for my. Uh, for your muscles, right? No, and my overall fitness. <laughs> So our victory then is that we found uh, the drone back, but we're almost at the ghost town Gjorna Lasva and here somebody built something totally new. Uh, but we're gonna show you, your, it's it's like you go back in time over there. It's like a fairy tale. You have all these little small streets and things. And the first hints you already have here, this is an old stairway from back in the days. And this is the general path that our people are allowed to walk on. And it is just if you go back in time like 2000 years ago. But um, yeah, we're going to show you. Looks good. <laughs> wow, it's still uh, working, Captain. Let's see if the camera is still working as well. <sighs> drone we should give it a name hi mini are you good yes okay <laughs> ho 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 not again <laughs> yes woohoo you have the most magnificent view so over there is Porto Montenegro here you can see the black pearl over there is the Adriatic and so here is a little church it's built in 1410 and restored in 2020 So one of the reasons is that we have to deregistrate de de ourselves from the Netherlands where you are more than eight months away from your home country in the Netherlands you are obliged by law to yeah, deregister de so <laughs> we need a residency yeah, we came up eventually by looking around a lot about nomads, spice, visas and everything that Montenegro is the best option for us yeah and one of the reasons is it's not that difficult to uh, to apply for residency. No, you do have some checks and balances. But yeah, and so what we did is we established a company over here. And then you get a, if you pass the checks, a visa for a year and you can extend it for another year. Yeah, yeah. And another reason is the, are the tax benefits. It's just the income tax is 9%. Flat tax rates. Flat tax rate and after, uh, and for business tax as well. Yeah, so we're gonna, put everything from the Feel the Breeze brand in a company over here. Yeah, so we can gonna transfer it from the Netherlands to Montenegro. Yes, and Montenegro has a very good climate for entrepreneurial spirits. It's really booming right now and we've met so many amazing people already and you feel really at home here. Yeah, but a lot of uh, international people, so people from from the UK, from the US, from Israel, the Netherlands. Yeah. Not that much. So the first reason is we got to figure out our fundament of financial, fiscal and living 
uh, to get that straight. And uh, that's what we're going to do here. Yeah, it may be good to explain this because when because we are sailing around, we don't have an address, and you have you, you need an address if you sail around um, and to pay taxes somewhere. So this is the best place to be. Yeah, and if you can choose, then choose at least a country that's favorable for yourself. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh, maybe we have to pick up Benjamin. And one of the reasons as well, but we can't tell you a lot about it yet, so we're not going to spend a lot of time on it during this video. But it is, we're gonna do a big project over here, but we haven't finalized anything yet, so we can't tell you yet, but it's gonna be exciting and it's gonna be fun. And yeah, it will keep us busy for around a year with some beautiful sailing to Greece and Malta and Italy. the whole morning here so ah. and he was crying Benjamin is eating so we can't pick him up so he, at least he's having a good time Drone was in the tree like this. Beep, 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 beep. And then Mama went up and he took it and she was shaking and then it fell and then Daddy could take it. Papa, Mama was climbing. <laughs> yes, Mama is a superhero. Am I climbing? Yes. We want, he wants to make pictures of the baby and that's also one of the reasons why we're staying a little bit longer in Montenegro because the pregnancy isn't going that great and I had a cesarean section with um, Benjamin so that means there needs to be a lot more control with the pregnancy than normal so we're gonna find out how the health system is here and then we choose between Montenegro or the Netherlands for the birth and uh, yeah just to have a more stable home during the whole pregnancy is for us uh, also quite good. This one, man. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Come. Okay. The, okay. Yeah, the red sand is it's like a clay, so yeah. it's very hard to uh, to get it up. So the Sahara doesn't want to leave you. No, the Sahara doesn't want to. Maybe we have to go to the Sahara instead of Patagonia. <laughs> yes. But it feels like a like a fresh start. Cleaning up. Cleaning up the boat, but also being here in Montenegro, because one of my goals is to pay off the the personal debts I have this year, and I see a lot of opportunities when I'm washing the boat and I look around then Montenegro has a lot to offer so and you already have some contacts here some initiatives so this is also one of the reasons why we're staying here yeah yeah that's always always when I did business in a new country it was always I was always the let's say the first one to establish a network and to make something happen so uh, yeah <laughs> So just a little bit of a sneak peek behind the scenes of a YouTube creator. As we are recording this newest episode, 
we were actually making the thumbnail for our previous one. So we are real life with our videos right now. Quite interesting. We've never had that like this, but we're actually pretty fine with it. Yeah. yeah. It's only a little bit not stressful, but we have to produce. Yeah, but that's fine. And uh, now you know, we had a little bit of a clickbait picture uh, last week, but when we took it, we were actually enjoying the beautiful weather here. It's getting better, so that's good. But a lot of boat jobs today, and I'm just gonna be very lazy and laying in a hammock on the front deck. So, uh, yeah. So the boat jobs for today are servicing the winches because uh, the noise is not good and they need some uh, TLC. Okay. So, um, this is the first time I can't get it off. So I have to think about another kind of solution. I was thinking maybe to get the boom over here and then try to lift it, but not sure. I think it just needs a little bit of a push and then it will come off. I decided to give it some oil, some really 40. What should we do without really 40? And um, I took some old mo uh, engine oil and tried to, uh, to get it over there and hope it will do its work. And then um, I think maybe later today or maybe tomorrow I will try to open it. Hello darling. Are you chilling? Yes, I think this is the best office I've ever had. Is it? Yes. <laughs> no. And we have good... anchor. Oh, that's even better. That's the location, but this is my office. <laughs> so what are you doing? Are you chilling or what? No, I'm actually doing the last things for the video. Which video? So, um, the newest one, Massive News. Massive News? Yes. Ah, okay. Beside the boat shops, we have to upgrade the perfect sense for our trip towards Patagonia. And um, so that includes, we're gonna install, uh, install a cutter stay with um, a storm sail. We want to upgrade the, um, our Jenneker. So we have now the, the Jenneker, most of you know, it's uh, sometimes quite problematic. And uh, so we want to change it for um, furling code zero. And then we have our um, heating so we want to install the diesel heaters they are still not here because of all the COVID and delivery problems and now the um, what's going on in the world um, and besides that we would love to uh, increase our storm tactics sailing so we will reach out to an expedition company with a lot of experience to sail in uh, in the in the Arctic and uh, we need to make a decision about the solar panels because we don't want to put them on an arch at the back of the boat because we don't like it because of the uh, aesthetics so but just on the bimini it will start flapping so maybe we have to install a hard dodger uh, here on the perfect sense but i'm not sure if rianne is uh, agrees with this one so yeah so there will be uh, a lot of upgrades on the perfect sense again oh Maybe we should change both. Maybe Rihanna wants a multi-hull going in the, towards the Arctic. Let's see what the expedition experts are gonna say about that. So after some thinking I was, I can't get it loose, so I figured out, I'm not sure if this is the way, but at least it's a way and if I do it very carefully, hopefully it will help to um, 
to lift it. So I have two lifting slings and um, yeah, let's see if it works. Yes! Yes! Yes, I've got it! Yes, Benjamin! No, it's not broken! Daddy fixed it! So here you can see it's just the dirt. It's with the wrong grease. Yeah! Yes, everything is turning over there. A blow, blow, blow. Yes, it's the mast walk. The Alex Thompson mast walk. You remember? Tom, I showed tom, you. Tom, tom, tom. My cupboard. No, it's not broken. Let's see, we have to take it off. Take it off. Yes. Help us take it off. We put this one over here. But so. And then we take this one out. This is deep. And this one out. And then the ocean. sunset and take you with us but I don't know if the captain is ready so uh, Mom, I'm gonna ask him it doesn't look ready looking at all the mess <laughs> oh, you it's did. not a mess it's a piece of art okay I did oh, uh, yes. no I'm not ready but I think it's a good idea to go yes yes it's one of our favorite things to watch the sunset together yeah and find a nice spot. Yes, let's drive. I have to give a little bit of an update as well on the pregnancy. Um, I'm at the magical 15 weeks just passed, so I'm actually feeling a little bit better. And I didn't dare to hope for it because I was feeling so, so worse, so awful. Um, but uh, yeah, I kept the spirits high. I'm a very no, positive no, person, going. positive mindset, but I have to be honest, I really had my down moments. I really had moments that I was crying, that I didn't think I would uh, pass it through. So I'm, <laughs> so I'm really happy that I'm feeling better right now. <laughs> Yeah, so it's going a lot of better now and uh, we didn't film a lot so even though we push weekly vlogs it isn't exactly all the time real life. It is right now uh, but you've missed a lot of the things we've been through during uh, the first weeks of the pregnancy uh, but it's going better now so time to explore more and hopefully set some sail again so now and then and uh, yeah, but first the sunset and the final reason why we are staying a little bit longer in Montenegro than we initially planned. What's this? Did I do that, Benjamin? Probably, huh? No, Benjamin. Oh, Benjamin.
drive around and just end up somewhere. And we found this magnificent spot. And yeah, I lost Gerber. <laughs> no, he's with the local here, showing him around. But it's beautiful here, I'm gonna show you. We just took a small road up the mountains and look. actually something we really love and enjoy and that is just driving up a small road and seeing where it will lead us and we are here up in the mountains close by to the bay but also really close by to the Adriatic Sea it's behind behind the mountains it's just beautiful over here that romantic nerd but I see oh, so much beauty everywhere those little small streets here where we have a difficult driving with a Land Rover and all the old stone houses it's like there's so much history everywhere you look and then now with spring with all the wild flowers everywhere and back in the days they did everything with donkeys and that's why all the streets are so narrow enjoying our sunset over here in this magnificent spot which sometimes just feels like fairy tale we also come to our final reason why we're gonna stay a little bit longer in Montenegro and that is because it's an incredible beautiful country we've seen a lot of continents of a lot of countries on the European continent but I think that we can say that Montenegro is definitely something special. Yes, it's a hidden gem. It's a hidden gem. And I was trying to catch the most beautiful drone shots for you guys. Um, but uh, yeah, that's one of the reasons as well. We want to explore more of Montenegro. We want to take you guys on adventure and show you how incredible, beautiful Montenegro is. And a lot of people don't know Montenegro or know Montenegro from the coastlines with all the touristic parts and things like that, but Montenegro is actually full with hidden and raw b Oh, <laughs> sorry, we have some drone issues again. Uh, but well, Gerber is landing the drone. Um, yeah, we just want to say that Montenegro is incredibly beautiful and so full with raw nature, beautiful salt lakes, mountains, untouched natures. It's like a fairy tale. There's even a canyon over here and yeah, we're going to show you all of it and explore everything uh, during uh, our stay here and the pregnancy. Sorry? Do you have something to add? What, regarding Montenegro? Yeah, why we're staying here, because it's so beautiful. <laughs> now it has everything. You can ski, you have mountains, you have a bay, you have the sea, you have Italy close by, Greece, uh, Croatia, so yeah. everything. And very nice people. That's the most important part. We are amazed by how friendly the people are. It's just like in Turkey. I think Turkey and Montenegro are the countries where we've met the most beautiful and friendly people uh, up until now. Yeah. Oh, you're a little bit emotionally touched by this guy. Yes. I didn't film him because I thought that's not a no, thing. No, but he's, he's a local and he said, um, you're from Netherlands and my brother lives in the Netherlands and he's a kickboxer and we trained over here and maybe you can come to join me for a cup of coffee and everyone is very nice and welcoming and well, I really love that. Stay here, put your tent Yeah, put your tent up here. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. No, we need to go back right now. We forgot that we still haven't fixed the lights of the Land Rover. So if we leave now, we're probably just in time before uh, for the lights are really necessary. So this was our vlog about why we're staying in Montenegro. And uh, yeah, there will be a lot of adventures coming up. There will be sailing, there will be road tripping, a lot. And uh, yeah, we can't wait for all of you to join us in this adventure. And if you have something you would like to see or hear about, just let uh, drop it in the comments and we definitely take that with us. Yeah, so see you next week.
Yes! He's actually trying to fix the camera, right? So he first pushes very gentle the, okay. the button and then he knows, oh, it's perfect. And then he pushes really? through. Yeah. And so, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Cut. We'll do it again. So. Uh,